is done. I am early today. It is 6.06. .06. I actually have to drop Troy off in Tucson. He's getting some work done to his Jeep Grand Cherokee. And then I have to drive him all the way to Green Valley, which is the opposite end, so that he can go golfing with his dad and stepmom. So I have to leave my house by 6.15. It is 6.07. I'm grabbing my protein coffee. I didn't drink the whole thing this morning before I headed out to the gym. So I have four shots of espresso and a caramel premier protein. So that's really, that's all that I've had so far this morning besides water. I actually almost drank an entire bottle of water. So I'll finish that on my way home. One hour later. So I am dropping Troy off right now. They're actually picking up his car. I did stop at Duncan because we need another coffee after that long workout. I'm pretty hungry. So I'm hoping that this will settle my stomach a bit until I can get home. But it's very, very simple. I do half sugar-free raspberry, half sugar-free coconut, half the amount of cream. So it's basically like two tablespoons of half and half. And then it is an iced Americano. Really, really good. And like I said, hopefully it tides me over until I get home. And then I picked up a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant for Troy. Since he's going golfing, that'll at least put a little bit of food in his belly. So I'm going to drop him off to go golfing, go home, eat breakfast. I need to get ready for the day. I have a couple of coaching calls today. Some new favorite things to share with you. We have a really good dinner recipe. We got a lot going on today. So I'm home from running Troy all around. Literally, you guys, it was like a 45 minute drive to the dealership in Tucson. Once you got off the interstate, which is already a long drive, you had to drive nine miles into Tucson to get to the dealership. So overall, by the time I drove him there, waited and dropped him off of course stopped and got coffee took him to the golf course and got home it was almost three hours three so i am super super hungry so i am going to make breakfast so i'm having one of the thomas regular english muffins this little breakfast has been my go-to the last few days it keeps me nice and full and it's a really well-rounded breakfast with carbs proteins and healthy fats so i'm doing one english muffin and then i'm going to do two egg whites so I have two eggs left in here, so I'm gonna do two of the whites only of the egg, and then I'm having one piece of the Jarlsberg Light Reduced Fat Swiss Cheese. I love this cheese because it's 50 calories, but it has seven grams of protein. That's a really good amount of protein for the calories, and this is a one-point slice of cheese on WW. And then in my little fresh container here, I have the most amazing raspberries from Costco, so we're going to have some raspberries. So on my food scale, I am going to weigh out my raspberries. So I'm going to have 100 grams of raspberries. So I just weigh those out in grams on my food scale. I actually had quite an interesting comment on my, what I eat in a day, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when I actually was doing this exact same thing and weighing out my raspberries. When I sit down to eat, I'll go over that comment with you. It was kind of interesting. and actually kind of made me think a little bit and put a little bit of, put some things into perspective. Ooh, look how good that looks. I always just throw the cheese on right before it's done because it gets all nice and melted. So here's my breakfast for today. This, like I said, has been kind of my go-to lately. So I have one English muffin, two egg whites. I guess I got a little bit of the yolk in there, but two egg whites, a slice of the cheese, and 100 grams of raspberries. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen, and let's have some breakfast. Okay, so breakfast time. A couple weeks ago, I did the exact same thing like I said where I had weighed out 100 grams of raspberries in my breakfast meal and someone had commented on my video and said I don't know why you're weighing out your raspberries they're free on WW well first of all first of all there is no food that is free every food has calories in it including raspberries and just because a food is zero points or on your zero point food list doesn't mean that you can eat as much of it as you want you still should be sticking with a serving size and eating based on your hunger and for me 100 grams of raspberries which is quite a lot it's well over half of a cup of raspberries is plenty for me and because I do track calories and macros protein fats carbs I weigh out everything and track it in grams in 
then lose it. So for me, that is the main reason why I track fruit. But even if I solely did WW, I would still weigh out all of my free, which we know I don't like that word, but all of my zero point foods anyways, because they still have calories. And I want to know exactly how many calories I'm eating to make sure I'm in a calorie deficit. And so regardless, I would weigh all of that out anyway. So if you see me weighing my fruit, that is precisely why. As you know, I've worked with Lily Silk in the past. I talk a lot about how dry and brittle my hair is. The ends break really easy. I actually just got my hair cut and colored and we got rid of all of my grody ends. So I wanted to preserve those. Also, I wear my hair up a lot. As you know, I work out seven days a week, so I am always putting my hair in a ponytail. I sleep with my hair up and I have always used silk scrunchies. That has been a game changer for me for breakage and frizziness with my hair. And you also know that I love a good tank top and I love a good supportive tank top because this area of my body is not what it used to be after losing over a hundred pounds. So I actually did a little bit of shopping on the Lily Silk website and the three things I picked out, I'm in love with them. First is the Vintage Bow Knot Sleep Cap. This actually comes in five different colors, navy blue, pink, black, white, and taupe. Of course, I picked up the black. This is amazing for keeping your hair safe while you sleep. It is made of silk. It is glossy, smooth, and soft. The cap circumference is 21 inches. I have a big head and this fits me perfectly. There is this stretchy band in the back that really helps with flexing the cap over all different sizes of heads. It is a silk nightcap with a bow in the front, which I think is super fun. And silk, as you know, prevents your hair from harm. And it can easily also moisturize your hair while you sleep. It's very aesthetically pleasing, actually. It's really pretty. And I've been sleeping with this sleep cap for about the last week and a half and I love it. My hair, when I wake up in the morning, my hair isn't tangled, frizzy, staticky. It is perfect. I love it. It's so comfortable. I don't even notice it while I sleep. But if you struggle with frizzy hair or hair breakage, this is great for sleeping. And of course I grabbed some more scrunchies because like I said, for about the last two years, I've been using silk scrunchies for sleep and I actually use them when I work out as well. They really, really, truly prevent hair damage. As you pull the scrunchie out, you're not pulling out any hair or damaging your hair. These particular scrunchies come in so many different colors and patterns. I picked the snow leopard because it's me and I love animal print, but they have multiple patterns. They also have solid colors like navy blue, pink, black. You actually receive a four pack of scrunchies. There's an extra large, large, medium, and small scrunchie. These are made with high grade silk. They're smooth and glossy and they prevent hair damage. Those traditional scrunchies, they just tug at your hair and cause a ton of damage. Smooth surface of the silk scrunchies actually minimizes the chance of your hair getting caught in it. That's why silk scrunchies are so good for your hair. So I've been loving these. I've been wearing these to bed. I've been wearing these to the gym. Anytime I wear my hair up, it is always in a silk scrunchie. And then I had to get this tank top because like I mentioned, as we lose weight, our body changes. Sometimes for the better, sometimes not for the better. And I wanted a really comfortable tank top that not only I could wear during the day, I could lounge around the house in, I could even wear it to bed. So I got the one size U-neck silk cami with built-in bra. That's what got me. That's what made me pick this item is the built-in bra. It actually comes in three colors, black, an apricot color, and a yellow color. It's supportive and stretchy, it's comfortable and soft, and it's breathable and skin friendly. They are a one size product. So they fit most sizes. It's super stretchable. It's also flattering on the figure. It kind of sucks everything in. So I really like this. I'm considering picking up the other two colors that they offer. You could wear this out with a cute little jacket over the top or a cardigan or under a workout jacket. And I've been wearing it a lot to lounge around the house. One other side note that I wanted to point out is that the apricot color and the lily aura color, which is that yellow color, they have undyed natural golden lining, which is even more antibacterial of a lining. So the black does not have that, but both the apricot and the yellow tank tops do. So I love everything I purchased from Lily Silk. I find that their prices are the most affordable for super high quality silk. So I will also put them down in the description box for you with a discount code. I also can't recommend them enough. Are you moping a little bit because your daddy's not here? He'll be here, Baba. He's golfing. Oh, yeah, he's golfing. Palmer. 
that he's golfing with Grandpa Bob. It's okay, Baba. You just take a little nap. I know you're sad. He waits by the door for his dad. And then this one, hi, honey. She's still laying there because I sit here to eat. So she's always... She's always around where the food is. And then Diesel, as we know, is always in my office with me. You guys always comment on him being in the background. First thing in the morning, he's coming in here and laying on his dog bed, which I love it. I love that he stays in here with me. Welcome to my bedroom. A couple of weeks ago in a What I Eat in a Day, I shared with you guys the cooling blanket. And Troy and I have been obsessed with it. It is our go-to couch blanket. It is the blanket we always use when we're sitting on the couch watching TV. It is summer here. I live in Arizona, so it's super hot all the time. Well, we were watching America's Got Talent this last week, and Troy said to me, do they make these for beds? Because it would be really nice to have a cooling blanket or cooling pillowcases on our bed. And so I did some research, and look at what I have. This is from the brand Elegir, and this is the cooling blanket and this is specifically made for a bed we have a king size bed so i ordered the king size they have all the different bedding sizes available and then i decided from that same brand ella gear to get the cooling pillowcases this is our vibe as you can see our bed back here is very more very much a neutral vibe in here so these match perfectly with the blanket that i picked out as well as with the color that we have in our bedroom they have tons of different color options for the blankets again i just went with a more neutral just because that is the colors that we have in our bedroom so i went with the matching blanket and pillowcases so the cooling blanket that i picked up is from the brand ella gear and this is their cooling blanket that absorbs heat to keep you nice and cool it uses the japanese q max arc chill cooling fiber it is breathable comfortable, hyperallergenic, which I really appreciate, and you can use it all season long. It comes in four different sizes, four different sizes depending on the size of number one, the blanket that you want, or if you're putting this on your bed like we did, it's going to vary depending on the size of your bed. So there's a 51 by 67, 59 by 79, 79 by 86, and a 90 by 108. It comes in eight different colors. We went ahead and chose the beige. Like I mentioned, our bedroom is very neutral, so we wanted something that tied in really nicely in our bedroom. The Japanese Arc Chill Cooling Fibers actually absorb your body heat, reducing your skin temperature by two to five degrees Celsius instantly. It makes you feel cool and comfortable without perspiration. You wake up really fresh, rested and comfortably dry with no sticky feeling. It is also double sided. So each side has a little bit different color to it. It is perfect for summer. We have the beige one that fits a king size bed. We love the one that I shared with you guys a couple weeks ago. We use it all the time when we're on the couch and Troy sleeps really, really hot. Like I don't even let him cuddle me at night because he sleeps too hot. So he has been loving this cooling blanket. He said for him, it's been a complete game changer, not not sleeping hot and also as you know we live in Arizona and it's hot most of the year here but I love the versatility of being able to flip the blanket over and use it for the cooler months as well they are extremely extremely affordable less expensive than traditional pillowcases and these ones are cooling pillowcases or pillowcases to make your night sleep even in the colder months a little bit more refreshing and comfortable so again I'll link these down below for you as well with a discount code but we are loving the pillowcases we're loving the blankets I may even buy a second cooling blanket for the couch because we fight over the one that we have. So I may pick up a second cooling blanket for the couch as well. So highly recommend if you're a hot sleeper, if you don't have air conditioning, live in a hot climate, or you just want that really refreshed, cool feeling, the blankets and the pillowcases, 10 out of 10. I am about to get on my second coaching call for the day, but I'm going to make up some protein water. I've been getting a lot of questions about what do you add to your water for extra protein? How many calories is it versus how many grams of protein? What's your favorite kind? Where do you get it? So today we're going to go over not one, not two, but three of my favorite protein supplements. I'm going to share with you my top one, my middle one, and my bottom and why. So one of my coaching clients turned me on to this brand. This is the brand MustFit, which I'm assuming stands for Muscle Fit. This is the Clearly Superior. I have the Cherry Lemonade. It is 80 calories per scoop, and there is 20 grams of protein. Now, 
All three of these supplements, I buy these on Amazon. They're linked in my Amazon store. I'll actually link them all down below for you. This one has quickly become my favorite for two reasons. Number one, the taste of it is really, really good. But even more than that, it dissolves the best out of all three of the protein supplements. It definitely doesn't have any of that whey, milky protein taste to it. I'm definitely going to try other flavors, but I really, really, really like the cherry lemonade. So we're going to use that one today. Now, number two on my list also can comes from one of my coaching clients recommendation. And I shared this in June's favorites, June favorites. Yeah. June favorites. This is the Muscle Tech ISO Way Clear. And this is the orange. Now this tastes like an orange creamsicle. It's really, really delicious. And I would say that it's pretty comparable to this one. This one from MustFit is the lowest price, is the best deal. Then there's this one, which is in the middle for the price. This one is 90 calories and has 22 grams of protein. So you're getting two more grams of protein for those extra 10 calories. And this one is really good. It dissolves really well. There's no weird aftertaste. I really like it. And like I said, these two are very, very comparable. This one is the most affordable than this one. Then number three on my list, which is actually the first one that I ever shared with you guys quite a while ago in a what I eat in a day is Isopure Infusions. And this is the pineapple orange banana. This one is really good. 90 calories, 20 grams of protein, pretty comparable to the others. My beef with this one is number one, it's the most expensive out of all three of these. But even more than that, it's for me, it's a lot harder to dissolve. In order for me to get it dissolved, I have to use my little handheld whisk thing. I'll link this too, it's in my Amazon store. And then I can get it to dissolve. But sometimes I'm on the go and I just want to be able to shake it up in my water bottle. And for me, this one just doesn't dissolve as well as the other two. So those are my recommendations for protein water supplements. If you have a protein goal, if you struggle to get in your protein, if you struggle to get in your water, these are just really, really good options because not only does it help you get in your water, but it also gets you 20 to 22 grams of protein. So today we are doing cherry lemonade. So I always add a little water in the bottom of my glass first, only because I don't want to put the powder right in the bottom and then add the water because that's when it can get clumpy and hard to mix, especially with the ISO pure. And then I take a scoop of my protein water supplement pour that in so it's a pretty good size scoop and like I said this one is really 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 good and then I'm going to add water almost to the top I always like to add ice for me that I like that really cold icy water and now you can see that I mean it's pretty much fully dissolved all I have to do is take my straw and mix it up and it's, I mean, fully dissolved. There's no clumps. Like I said, this one, in my opinion, value wise and how easy it is, this is definitely the one, either one of these are the two I would take traveling versus the ISO pure, just because it's so easy to mix it up with a straw. So here's what it looks like. I mean, it's clear. There's definitely no milkiness, fully dissolved. It's so good. It literally tastes like cherry lemonade. You would never know that there's protein in here. That is one thing I love about it. And for me, it's a great way to get in 32 plus ounces of water. And for me, and 20 grams of protein. So I'm going to sip on this while I'm on my coaching call. So for lunch today, I'm making tuna salad. Tuna is one of my favorite lunches and it is such a great way to get in protein. So I just bought this big pack of the Albacore Premium Wild Caught Solid White Tuna in Water. I actually bought this at Sam's Club. You get eight cans and it was really affordable. I mean, much more affordable than the store. So they're just your traditional size tuna cans. I'm going to make up two. That way when Troy gets home from golfing, he can make himself a tuna sandwich. I'm using Duke's Light Mayo. This one has a little bit better ingredients than a lot of the other light mayo that may mayonnaise out there and it's really good. I always, always have to add sweet relish to my tuna and then some pepper. So we're definitely going to need more. So I'm going to add another 60 grams. Perfect, that should do it for mayo. So I'm going to mix that in really well. We'll add in our sweet relish and some pepper. I'm going to add in some sweet relish. I do not count points for sweet relish. I'm going to go ahead and put what's left here in my jar, which is maybe two tablespoons. Mix that in and then we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it another quick mix. I like my tuna fish really cold. So I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator for about an hour and then we'll put together lunch.
one hour later. So here is my lunch for today. So I went ahead and did three ounces of tuna and two tablespoons of the light mayo on one of the Trader Joe's rice cakes. They're 25 calories, one point. To me, this is the perfect little lunch. It's super low carb because the rice cake is really the only carbs in the tuna mix. I have one serving of the Siete kettle cooked sea salt and vinegar chips. These are so good, nice, clean ingredients. I love Siete chips. So I have one serving of those and then I have a whole bunch of chopped up cucumbers. So that is my lunch. My Imperfect Foods order is here. This is one of my favorite days every couple of weeks. I do get an order from them bi-weekly, so every two weeks. Imperfect Foods is such a great company. I actually just sent my neighbor the link because she's interested in having it as well. It is a company that helps prevent food waste by selling products at super affordable prices that would otherwise go to waste. So they have everything from produce, meat, pantry items, you name it, they have it. And I get really excited every two weeks when my order comes. It's always packaged really, really nicely. Everything under the cardboard here is what needs to be kept cold. So there's ice packs. And if you didn't know, I live in Arizona. So the fact that this is still really cold, even sitting on top is pretty typical for Imperfect Foods. They help keep the food really cold. So the first thing that I ordered is the Essential Baking Company Take and Bake Garlic Bread. This is our very favorite bread. It is so incredibly delicious and it is about a dollar to a dollar 25 cheaper through Imperfect Foods. Like I said, all the cold stuff is under the flap with a insulated bag, ice packs, everything. I mean, it is cold, cold, and it's 100 degrees here today. I always buy a lot of produce through them because it is much more affordable than the grocery store. So this is the Garden Melody Tomatoes. Ooh, these look so good. I also picked up a couple of organic zucchini. You guys know that we love zucchini, both Troy and I. A couple of packs of blueberries. I've been on a big berry kick lately. I don't know, for some reason berries are just my jam, so I'm always picking up berries whenever I go to the store. I also am just about out of chia seeds, and let me tell you that these chia seeds through Imperfect Foods were cheaper than buying chia seeds at Costco, so I picked those up. And I did grab some pickles. I have heard really good things about this brand, the classic dill pickles from the brand Sucker Punch. I just heard that they are a really, really good crunchy dill pickle. So I decided to pick up two jars because we love pickles. And then in the insulated bag here, with an ice pack is all of the things that have to be kept cold or could potentially melt. So first up, I did grab some of the Nancy's cream cheese. This brand is really expensive in the grocery store and it was the same price as like Philadelphia cream cheese through here. So I had to pick that up. I also grabbed some more feta. Troy's been on a salad kick. I've shared that in my grocery hauls in the past that he's been eating a lot of salads and he always tops it with feta. I also grabbed a brick of sharp cheddar cheese. Again, Troy loves his meat, cheese, and crackers. The Good Foods Avocado Mash. I actually forgot to pick up the avocado packets at Sam's Club, and these are really affordable through Imperfect Foods. Also, I saw this, and you know I love mint chocolate anything. This is the Mint Chip Limited Edition Oat Milk Creamer from the brand Cliffia Farms. Ooh, I was so excited when I saw that. It was a quick click add to cart. I've seen this a few times when I'm placing my order and never bit the bullet and grabbed it. So this time I did. This is the chocolatey maple granola win ever bark. It says hunks of granola dipped in chocolate and dotted with maple chips. It looks so good. One and a half pieces is 160 calories. I'll probably just have half of a piece, maybe one piece. I just really wanted to try it. I also picked up some lettuce. This is the California Crunch. So it's just a variety of green leaf lettuce and some other lettuce like romaine. And last but not least from Vital Farms is the pasture raised hard boiled eggs. Another thing I love always having on hand for healthy high protein snacks are pre-made, pre-pilled, ready to go hard boiled eggs. And like I said, they're cheaper through Imperfect Foods than the grocery store. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. I will link Imperfect Foods down below for you with free groceries, $40 worth of free groceries with your first order. Check, see if they're in your area. Highly recommend. It's a great company and a great cause. So I have some new flavors of Dive Bar to share with you guys. They actually just came out with six new flavors. 
this is what I'm going to have as an afternoon snack. I have the paper here in front of me, which talks all about the new flavors. So let's go over what is new to the line. So we have the Banana Nana the Elvis. So this is a peanut butter banana themed dive bar. It's 16 grams of protein, seven grams of fat, and 90 milligrams of caffeine. Now, all of the dive bars are caffeinated. I get that question a lot. They all have caffeine in them. All of these bars are 2022 ice cream bars. So the banana nana, it says add real dehydrated banana chips and rich chocolate bits. So again, that is the banana nana, the Elvis, 16 grams of protein. And then we have strawberry coner. This has wafer cone bits, extra delicious chocolate chips, and that authentic strawberry flavor. 16 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, 90 milligrams of caffeine. This one looks really good. This is Katie's Butterfinger McFlirty. This is based from one of the Dive Bar Ambassadors. It's her favorite McFlurry from McDonald's drive through combined with real Butterfinger bits and hints of butterscotch, making it this a butterscotch dream in a protein bar. 16 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, 90 milligrams of caffeine. I'm excited about this one. Next up is Mint Chip Madness. This is light green mint ice cream with semi-dark chocolate with little Andy mints. Ooh, that sounds so good. This one again, same everything, seven, milligram, seven grams protein, seven grams of fiber, and then the 90 of caffeine. We have the Rocky Road marshmallows gleam against a rich chocolatey dive bar. Nuts, chocolates remind you that this ain't no joke. And same nutritional profile with the protein and the fiber. And last but not least, we have the fudged up brownie sundae. So this one has brownies, M&Ms, and ice cream flavor, same macro profile. So those are the six new dive bars. I don't even know which one I want to try. I kind of want to try the Butterfinger one, but then I kind of want to try the mint chip one. Let's go with the mint chip because I love anything mint chocolate. So here is what the bar looks like. You can see the little pieces of Andy's mints and the chocolate chips. They do have that same texture and consistency consistency of the Quest Bar, but I like these a lot better than the Quest Bar. And these don't bother my stomach. For some reason, the Quest Bar bothers my stomach. Ooh, it smells just like mint chip ice cream. Mmm, that's really good. That is really good. It literally tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. With 16 grams of protein, 90 milligrams of caffeine, the perfect afternoon snack. So I'll link Dive Bar down below for you. All of these flavors are available as of August 3rd. Some of them may sell out, so if you're interested, grab them while you can, and there will be a 22% discount in the description box. So for tonight's dinner, I am making a pineapple barbecue meatballs, and then we're going to pair that with some jasmine rice. I'm going to show you the best little rice cooker ever. So easy, but let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need rice of your choice. You could do brown rice, cauliflower rice, I I asked Troy what he wanted and he asked for jasmine rice, minced garlic, breadcrumbs of your choice, salt and pepper. I will link my salt and pepper shakers down below. These are the gravity fed ones off of Amazon, super cheap and they are awesome. You'll need some crushed pineapple, honey, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and molasses. This is all for the actual barbecue sauce for the meatballs. Garlic powder, sesame seeds, ground ginger, tomato paste, cornstarch, You'll need one egg, an onion, some cilantro, and then a pound of meat, whatever type of meat you would like to use. So the first thing we're going to do is put together the meatballs. So go ahead and put your pound of meat into a large bowl. To that, we're adding three tablespoons of breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of sesame seeds, a big scoop of minced garlic, salt and pepper, one egg, and chopped up cilantro and chopped up onion. The best thing to do is just go in with your hands and mix everything together.
Now we're going to roll out the meatballs. It doesn't really matter how many you get. We'll base all of our points and calories off of the total number at the end versus the serving. So spray your pan with some nonstick cooking spray and add in your meatballs. So for the sauce, super simple. I have a can of crushed pineapple. I'm going to add about a cup of pineapple juice. Make sure you reserve the pineapple because we're going to be using that too. Four tablespoons of so soy sauce. Four tablespoons tomato paste. One tablespoon molasses. Two tablespoons honey. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons cornstarch, garlic powder, and ginger. Go ahead and mix that all together thoroughly. So for rice, I use the Dash Rice Maker. I'm telling you, this thing is a complete game changer for rice. It is super, super simple. I'm going to add one cup of rice and two cups of water. Put the lid on and turn it on, right on the little switch on the front here, and that's it. When the light is off, the rice is done. Once the meatballs are done cooking, go ahead and add in your sauce. I like to stir the meatballs in the sauce for just a minute before adding in the pineapple. That cornstarch in the sauce will help it thicken up and it thickens up pretty quickly. And then we're adding in one cup of the crushed pineapple. Give that another stir. And allow it to simmer on medium heat until it's thickened. Look how good this looks. It smells really, really good. So our meatballs are done. Our rice is just about finished. I'll get everything plated up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So the rice is done. It is seriously that simple. You just throw the rice and water in and it's perfect every single time. I just bought this off of Amazon. I'll leave it down below. And by the way, there is a keep warm option. There's a cook option and a keep warm option. So here is dinner. This looks and smells so incredibly delicious. The whole batch of meatballs makes six servings. I did a cup of rice, so it's a half of a cup of rice per serving, and that'll give you some extra rice. It should make about two cups of rice or so, maybe three cups of rice. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for my dinner. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have one of my Cleo bars. I actually bought this big pack at Costco or Sam's Club? I think Sam's Club. There are six of the strawberry and six of the vanilla. I love these. They literally taste like cheesecake. It's funny because on the wrapper it says cheesecake imposter, which is legit what these are. I really, really like these and they have protein in them. They're really delicious. So that is going to be dessert. on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Definitely get your hands on that cooling blanket and cooling pillowcases. When I told Troy about the blanket, he tried it and loved it, and then we're like, why do we not have one of these on our bed? Especially in the hot summer months. And for us here in Arizona, it's hot all the time, so it's definitely something we will use all year. And then of course, I love Lily Silk. I've worked with them in the past. Such a great company, such high quality for the price. So I'll make sure all of that is linked down below for you guys. Tonight's dinner recipe is on my website, which is also in the description box, along with everything else I shared in today's video. Nutrition coaching, again, recommending the macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. Coaching. And don't forget, come and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Oh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me over there. That's how you can keep up with me more day to day. I post tons on Instagram. So come on over and follow me there. Happy Wednesday, friends. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.